Hey guys, Memorial Day is upon us, and to make sure you have the tastiest barbecue on the block, we've gotten together with some of our favorite new YouTube channels to create a menu just for you. If you don't know these channels yet, you should. I encourage you to check them out and subscribe. I think you'll enjoy them just as much as you do everyday health. You know, no barbecue is complete without a great burger, but if you're looking for an alternative to those belt-busting burgers made of regular ground beef, I have an alternative my skinny and smart bison burger. You know, compared to regular ground beef, bison is so much more lean. You can actually just tell by looking. There's much less fat. There's also less cholesterol and fewer calories. And to lower the calorie count even further, we're gonna add in some other tasty ingredients. You know, normally I don't put onions in the food processor for most recipes because they release too much liquid. But in this recipe, you're gonna end up sauteing the mushrooms without any added oil. So. Having a little liquid is not a bad thing. After your pan heats up a, just a couple of seconds, you're gonna give it a little spray with cooking oil. You can use canola oil or olive oil and let it heat up just a little bit before you scoop your onions in there. And again, a little bit wet, but that's all right. Now, here's why mushrooms are magic if you're trying to lose weight. They have that umami quality. And research has found that people who substituted mushrooms for part of the meat in their diet lost more weight without feeling any less satisfied. I use a mixture of brown mushrooms and shiitakes. You know, mushrooms have almost no calories, so they make a great filler for meat dishes, no matter what type of dish it is. The chewy texture, I think, of the shiitake mushrooms really add a meat-like quality. Once your mushrooms and onions have cooked down a bit, you're just gonna add in a couple of teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. So once your onions and mushrooms have cooled a little bit, you're just gonna mix it in with your bison. You know, because bison is so lean, adding in these mushrooms and these onions is gonna help it stay moist once you cook it. But another thing to know is that you have to cook it on a lower temperature than you normally would regular ground beef. Again, so much less fat. That looks about right. Now, when we make them into patties, you wanna keep control of the calorie count. And by using a half cup measuring, you'll know that the burger you're making is only gonna be about 160 calories. Plus a half cup makes a perfect size patty. You can do a lot of this ahead of time, which means you'll be able to have a cocktail with your guests and enjoy the party yourself. All right, these guys are ready to go. Love that sizzling sound. You know, you can tell just by looking at these burgers that they're better for your body. I mean, all of those vegetables are much easier for your body to process than a big hunk of meat alone. And while these things are cooking, I am going to chop up some fixings for our burgers. You can add Persian cucumbers. Just cut them on a diagonal. And add some spice. Maybe a little jalapeno pepper for people who like it hot. Even though there's onions in the burger, you might want to add more onions in that are raw. And of course, when tomatoes are fresh and in season, you want to add those. See how they're doing. Start with one. Oh, perfect. You want to get those nice grill marks. And I have to tell you about bison burger taste. It's a little sweeter and a little bit richer than regular ground beef. I always say it tastes like the kind of meat that I used to have when I was a kid growing up in Texas, or the kind of meat that I imagine my Texas grandmother eating when they got it straight from the farm. Back then, cows actually ate grass and hay instead of being fed corn. Well, I think the burgers are about done. It's time to get ready for this party. Wow, this smells so good. Yep, they're all about right. And let's just start loading them onto our buns. And let your guests add what they want as they will. And one more little note about saving calories. Check out the calorie count of your buns and look for the light ones. They had about 80 calories per bun, and the ones that aren't light can have up to 280 calories. So that's it. A skinny and smart bison burger party for your Memorial Day gathering. 
So that's what we're contributing to your party. To see the rest of the menu, click the thumbnails here. Happy Memorial Day.